Mate, what are you doing? You didn't do any hard work today. You sat in your room pretending to be Robert. What the fuck is that mask? You look like Robert Pattinson. What is that shit? You gonna glow, Michael, when the sun hits you more? You disgusting Nancy boy! The haircut looks great. Why don't you go back to San Francisco? What the fuck? You gonna kiss me or kill me? Yeah, you don't know. That's what I'm saying. All right, so here we going. Right now, we're gonna go and do an unboxing, I guess. Some of you people, you sycophants out there, are sending us letters back. Nobody's scared anymore. <laughs> Shit. God damn you, Michael! I mean, at this point, it's like a gnome jumping at you in the yard. You're like, I'll kick you out the fucking window. With that mask on, you look like a creeper with a goddamn binocular. Set. You look like George McFly. You're a dead fuck. That's what he says. Well, you guys sent us a package, Michael. They sent us a package. People that actually like your goddamn ugly coke encrusted face. We're gonna read those on camera for you! Of course, because nothing else to do. Nothing else to do, not to treat this brain dead, soggy brain fuck face for eight hours a day. Michael? Unsolved mystery? Done? You almost knocked on the goddamn letter, you stupid shit! You hear that sound? That's the sound your asshole makes when you have to go to school. The first letter, it says, Dr. Loomis, I assume me, Michael. <laughs> I don't see another Loomis around here. Are you widening the gap between your fan base or is that the size of your butthole? Doubt. Dear Dr. Loomis and that butthole licking pale faced asshole Michael, you got them right! You said it correctly! He does lick buttholes! And he looks like a bleached asshole from Courtney Love! Now, have you ever maybe thought of putting thorn seed in Michael's little ass dick? That would teach him. It's too small, I can't find it. Good idea, but no. I don't wanna go near that region. Okay, that's a demilitarized zone. Okay, it's like downtown Detroit mixed with post-Vietnam. It's crazy and there are blood. Maybe it would regress some of those sexual urges he gets on Halloween and when he sees Hugh Jackman without his shirt on. But, well, he is Wolverine. Yes, I forgive that, Hugh Jackman is a sexual being. I have a theory that Michael's built up anger and aggression have stemmed from Rob Zombie. Oh, Mike, I just suddenly got sick like someone pissed and pooped on my grave. The name, Rob Zombie. It's like a joy goddamn sucks from 25 years ago, who most certainly has pubic dreadlocks and hasn't washed his ass in 17 years. Fucking up Michael's autobiography, Halloween, by adding a stupid white horse and making him white trash. I agree with you. Rob Zombie and Sin should have taken that money and got his ass clean by going through a goddamn car wash and doing it twice with hot wax all over his pubic, nasty, crab infested, dirty, goddamn dishwater looking face. But he didn't. That does not excuse Michael's behavior, though. It doesn't, Michael. Calm yourself down. Next time he spills your goddamn Asian tea, you should pee on all of his goldfish and burn his My Little Pony collection. It's a good idea. It's a good idea. Michael, it's not threatening. <coughs> That's real! Who the fuck gave him a real one? You see what he does in his bedroom at night? That's what he does. That's why we don't give him those things. <coughs> Lloyd, you're fired, you son of a bitch. Do you have an opinion on grown ass men who wear salmon shirts? I'm gonna die! Get your ass away! Yeah, 
they should be like fucking hung and cornered. Maybe uh, through the Middle East. What? No, you're not. You can't. No. What are you doing? Listen to me, young fucking ugly Christopher Walken. You will not do it. Tell me, what are you doing? Your fucking fingers smell like pickle juice. Probably because you picked your ass. Yes, Michael, I was under that. You need your ass checked? As well as your aim. You couldn't even kill your niece, Michael. She's still on Twitter. Do you understand this? Twitter. I can't wait to put you up for adoption. I heard there's a man named Jay who has dabbled in Salmon's scheme of clothing. I'm not sure if I agree on this option. Well, I have none of this, Jay, if you are referring to that we watched the movie piece of shit YouTube channel. The mediocre of the mediocre on YouTube. It makes me sick and it makes Michael's nipples bleed. To understand that those pieces of shit exist. And if this Jay is using salmon colored shirts to represent himself, he might as well put hot coals in his anus and cough three times. The results will be the same. A burning butthole sensation of an asshole passing himself off with salmon shirts. What's he trying to do, Michael? Be in Mannequin 3? Salmon shirts are not required anymore. If Michael was to just go away, die, or stop being an asshole, what would you do? Vacation? I would love it. Yes, absolutely. Vacation time. I have a large, extensive library of Encyclopedia Britannicas that I would like to go through, starting with D. Because I already went through A through C. I also would enjoy playing Bingo, Uno, and Baccarat. And sipping Agent T whenever I goddamn felt like it. I do that anyway, but you know, you know what I mean. Last but not least, Michael, this is for you. Please suck on an exhaust pipe from a goddamn 1974 station wagon and don't stop sucking. No, I made that up, Michael. That's not what he said. <laughs> you know, that's what you should do, though. This is for Michael. Look at me. No. Yes, look at the paper. Leave Dr. Loomis alone or else you get the shock color again. Go fuck yourself, Michael. You see, we still have shock color for psychopath available. Yes, regardless of what Dr. Loomis says, Michael, you are not bigger than Millie Vanilli. You see, black and white. No, you say! Girl, you know it! Girl, you know it! You're not bigger than Millie Vanilli! Get over it, Michael! All this time, Michael has been trying to... Pr he goes in the mirror and says, Millie Vanilli, I'm bigger than you! You're not bigger than Millie Vanilli! You're not even... Did you wipe your ass with that? It just smells like your breath. You're not bigger than Will Al Yankovic! You're not even bigger than the Blue's Clues fucker that left the show because his hair was falling out. What are you in, Grease 6? That flopped up collar. You look like a cut version of Uptown Girl from Billy Joel. All right, so let's go to the next. As if time is not of the essence. Well, this is quite long. Dear Michael Myers and Dr. Loomis, before I get into the bulk of this letter, I was wondering if you'd be willing to indulge for this un- oh, right. So I'm sorry, I think you got the address wrong. If you're looking for Mike and Jay, if we watch the movie, go down three blocks to fuck you and up your ass Chocolate Avenue. That's where they live, okay? I don't know where you were trying to send this to. What the fuck is this going on, Mike? Who is this Mike and Jay except for those douche holes? Yes, Michael, you have a small pee-pee hole time. What are you, a Pac-Man bitch? Okay, now that that's out of the way, I feel obligated to bear you in compliments. 
Oh, thank you. I'm gonna take that. I found you guys last fall just before the newest Halloween movie came out. Halloween movie came out. Please understand that I am a complete wuss when it comes to horror movies. Horror games are fine, but that's a different story. I've been so scared of this genre that I still refuse to watch the original Poltergeist. Even after all these years since I tried the first one. The only one I ever willingly watched was the new It movie, which I loved. You like clowns that live in sewers? Whatever. It wasn't until I started watching you guys that gave me the courage to watch the new Halloween when it came out in theater. I cannot thank you guys enough for helping me overcome my fears and actually enjoy these movies. So far it's only the slasher movies that I'm able to watch, but I don't doubt that I'll be able to work myself up to more as I go. Yes, watch, watch all those goddamn fake ass movies that don't deal with the reality of this piece of shit. You see what happened? Mike stayed up all night watching goddamn My Little Pony videos and he's tired. I actually got box sets of the Nightmare on Elm Street and Friday the 13th movies, and I've been watching them. My next goal is to find a set of the Halloween movies. I was bad and watched the last one first. You watch that Busta Rhyme shit? Or the Rob Zombie nasty crab infested one? It's thanks to you guys that I've come this far. I love your videos so much that I honestly can't wait to see them when I get the notifications. You guys are beyond hilarious, and I really hope you get more subscribers so you can get the recognition. There isn't really an order, but I made equal amounts of each item, so pick a box and bag and go nuts! Michael, if you don't stop, I will return you back to Captain Cuck's goddamn storeroom! Which is where you made your fame of a mask of a goddamn man that couldn't act his way out of a paper bag! Captain Cuck. And so... There are, however, a few things I wanted to say that each item, but only after you open everything, so please be careful of each one. I don't know how breakable they are. Please don't read past it until you've opened everything. Here's a blue one for you, Michael. It reminds me of your dull personality. I shouldn't have let you have that knife. In retrospect, that was a bad idea. You piece of shit. this ribbon, Pinhead! This shit is hard! It's fuck to get open! There we go. What is it? A sheesh? What is that shit? I feel like I'm opening up powder from that Native American poltergeist too. It'll bring me a dream sequence. Yes. What's up, bubble fucking rap? Suck a dick. Oh. I didn't break anything. They're kitchens. Michael. Michael, I have you got it. it, it part my fingers touching it. Are you snoring, Michael? You what are you doing? This is nice. Thank you so much, kitchens. Is that that piece of shit, Jay? Who is that? The one is goddamn same. There's a striking resemblance. I will say, he's not my son. In fact, prove it and go it, bitch. Okay, sit down. Next one. Remember, Michael, this time is ticket. I mean, I, I want to get you away from here. I am tight. Your stench is unbearable. It smells like an open sewer next to a trash fire next to a construction site. No, those are mine. I, no, no, you don't touch. I'm sorry. You don't touch those. No, you can have that. Put your illegal feeds of, uh, you know, in there. So next one. 
Again, a knot made by a superior. Boy Scout, stop touching. Well, there goes the video because you tied this with a triple knot made by sailors in the north. Was this made by fucking Norse magicians? What the fuck is this? Oh, good for you, Michael. Yeah, you've done so good. Good for fucking you. Maybe stop killing people. Is that a good idea? Nope. I didn't think so. You can open a bag, but you can't put down a fucking knife. My goodness! My goodness. The Christmas decorations, Mike. Too bad you're on a holy piece of a bitch that only celebrates Satan's butthole. But if you didn't, be a cute thing. You say, Michael. It's again that piece of shit from your tub. You say? Did Michael, did you just shit your pants? Well, it sounded like a goddamn mariachi band in there. You say, what are you looking at, Mike? So you say, it's your ass. I'm sorry, you smell bad. You look like an ugly Jack Gyllenhaal. No, you can keep it. I don't want that. That's fine. No, you will not keep this. God damn, Michael, the way you're breathing reminds me of a goddamn interrogation room. Stop! Nobody's that interested in your shit. You sound like you're five drinks away from passing out. Okay, so let's open these other ones up here. That's disgusting, Mike. Nobody wants to see Magic Mike 3, the return of Michael's little wiener. Oh, it's the same stuff, Michael. I'm sorry. It's Michael Lewis, you dumb shit! A set of them. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read about the, uh, the green bags. Those were third and fourth. They're not going far, Michael. It will still be on your ass tonight. When you're acting like an asshole, it will still shock your ass. Number three and four, the, the, what we just opened here, he says, These bad boys are the things that took me so long to make. And it's a part of the reason why this package took me so long to send to you. I made a Michael Myers and a Dr. Loomis doll for you guys fitted with a modified model kitchen knife and a Wham logo for Michael and coffee cup for Dr. Loomis's Asian day. God damn. Good stuff. Thank you for reminding me. Hydration. And a mini ID badge. I included a loop for you for it if you want to hang them somewhere. I took the liberty to try a new way of making the clothes. So I hope you liked it. I also tried to make Michael's head look as mask-like as possible, so I hope the hair doesn't look too weird. Well, his hair looks like shit right now, so you did a great job. Please keep in mind that knives are very fragile and can bend really easily. I'm not sure where you guys will put them, but I'd love to see them in your background if it isn't too much. Absolutely! Absolutely! It'll go up there. What are you doing? Are you putting on a goddamn hooker show in New York, you slut? Stop! It will go on the background, somewhere. So, I'll get to your other one. He also sent these brown bags. One for you and one for me. The goddamn Canadian! Why don't you send the maple syrup? These are Canadian goddamn kitchens, Mike. Do you understand? You've not been there. You would freeze your dick off. 
Very lovely. Maybe one day I can retire to Canada. Get away from this piece of hogwash shit. Name Mike. But as it is, I probably won't. So he says, I made a Michael Miles and a Dr. Loomis keychain for you guys. I do the designs myself. Remind you, not the fuck up! God shit. This shit's annoying me. And then he goes on to say, Your channel means a lot to me, and I really want you to know that. I'll literally stop what I'm doing if I'm at home, whether I'm watching something else, and it will be one of the first things I watch when I get home if I was out. I hope this gets to you quickly and not have too much dog slash cat hair in the box. It didn't, because Michael would go etch and try to eat something. You calm your ass down. You calm your ass down before they go save your butt on. Seriously, that stuff gets everywhere. Before I close, I was wondering if I could get your opinion on a crossover I've been thinking about. What do you think would happen if Hannibal Lecter was Michael's psychiatrist instead of Dr. Loomis? What in his fucking face? What do you mean? They'd get into one argument, he would make goddamn Michael shish kebab, and the end of session happened. And then Michael would go around looking like a fucking pig because there'd be no goddamn nasal passages. But then again, that might be okay because they could find out who you are. Yeah, it's, it's so nice, Michael. So cute. Yay! Fuck that. P.S. Before you say it, I'm going to make myself a set so don't feel like I went overboard. I wasn't going to say it, but thank you. Make yourself a set. P.P.S. I included a business card with my Instagram and stuff that my friend made me. I haven't actually sold any dolls yet, but I was thinking of making some for commission on the side. Do it! Make money when you can! If you're interested in seeing what else I've made so far, they're all in my account. I'm fine with sharing my Instagram, but please don't share other information. We will not do that for you. Thank you. Love you guys. Sincerely. I'm not gonna share it because you said not to share it, so I don't know what you want me to do. Instagram is curious underscore melons on Insta. Coffee. <coughs> and then these are beautiful drawings that she has made. I would include none of this, but just the right side of it, your left. Great stuff. This not be celebrated. Pitied, not celebrated. But great craftsmanship. Amazing. God damn, Mike. We made it like bandits. So, that brings us a close to the video. My friend, thank you. Sometimes when I have to therapize this piece of shit, this nasty, babysitting, killing monster that is Michael Myers, the one that slaughters children, in their high school days, yes, Michael, you did. Shut the fuck up. It's sometimes hard to remember that people like you exist. So thank you. And back to therapy sessions. Shit. Well, that almost might have hurt, but I caught it. I didn't catch that shit, and that will be taken care of. Good day. We watched the movie. Uh -huh. mm. We watched a movie. We watched a movie.